Hi everyone, I'm Robert Ripchek, Educational Technology Specialist and Google Apps Certified Administrator here at Rose High School, and this is your intro to your new promo. <laughs> So this is the Dell Chromebook 11, and we've chosen this device for multiple reasons. Chromebooks are computers developed by Google that run a Chrome operating system, and what makes this unique is that the device runs entirely in a web environment. So if you know how to use things like Google Docs, then you're basically already a pro at using the Chromebook. So the real question is, how do I use this thing? Well, the first thing you're going to do is open up the screen, which automatically powers on the device. Now because Chromebooks are running the Chrome OS, they boot up in under 8 seconds. Yes, it really is 8 seconds. Time it for yourself if you don't believe me. Remember, everything is running on the web on a Chromebook, including security, so you'll always be up to date with the most stable channel each time you log in to your device. And speaking of logging into your device, these Chromebooks are managed within the Revis domain, which means you have to log in with the Revis Gmail account. In fact, we've set it up for you to save you time when signing in. All you have to do is type the beginning of your address, as at revisd220.org is already listed for you. When you log in, Chrome automatically launches the Revis homepage, indicating you are in fact connected to the web and ready to work. Since you signed into the device with your Gmail account, you'll notice that you're already signed into Chrome in the top right corner, meaning you can access all of your drive files, email, and other Google apps and extensions. If you take a look at the desktop, you'll see it looks pretty similar to any other laptop. At the bottom of the screen is your shelf where you can launch applications from. So if you click on Chrome, it'll launch Chrome. Click YouTube, and it loads YouTube. You can also pin applications you use most often to your shelf and rearrange them in any order you'd like. This just makes it easier for you to navigate your apps. To remove apps from your shelf, you can right click and select unpin or simply click and drag the app off the shelf and it'll disappear. If you click the magnifying glass, a window appears where you can do a quick Google search or again quickly access the last four apps you've used. You can also click all apps to access all the apps you have installed with your Gmail account. The bottom right corner shows you some good information so you can see things like your profile picture, battery life and Wi-Fi connectivity, and both time and date. You can click inside of this block to reveal additional information like volume settings, enable and disabling Bluetooth, and other device settings like connecting to a home network, the touchpad speed, and this is where you can also change your profile picture. Because this device is all web-based, you don't have the ability to install programs like iMovie or Microsoft Office, you can't save anything to the desktop, and only applications that run through a web browser are available for you to use. Now you may or may not know this, but Google Drive allows you to save files that aren't just Google items. You can upload and save anything from photos to PDF and CAD files, and basically any other type of file you can think of. Try to think of Google Drive as your digital locker. You can put anything in it and access it from anywhere as long as you're connected to the web. You also have the ability to upload and download files from a USB or external drive. The Chromebook has two USB ports, so one on the right and one on the left. You also have an HDMI port to connect to a projector, a standard 3.5mm headphone jack, and an SD card slot to load pictures or video from a camera to your drive. When you plug in a flash drive, a notification will appear letting you know the device was detected. You can open up your files two separate ways, by clicking Open Files App, or by coming down to the magnifying glass, clicking All Apps, and then Files. Again, because you're connected with your Revis Gmail account, you have direct access to all of your files in Google Drive, including files that other users have shared with you, recent documents you've worked on, and the files you have offline. This is where you can also view the files you've downloaded from the web and access the files that are loaded on your flash drive. In order to get a file or folder from one place to another, simply click and drag the file from your flash drive into Google Drive. Click into My Drive to see that that file has been transferred. Another way for you to check that this is in your drive is to launch Google Drive from the shelf and see if the file you just added in the Files app is shown in your drive. So we took a look at a lot of things right now and there's so much more we haven't even touched on, but I want to show you a couple keyboard shortcuts that'll keep you working efficiently when you're on your Chromebook. 
things. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to keep your information safe by locking your device when you're away from it. And you can do this one of two ways. The first is by holding down the power button in the top right corner for just a few seconds. A good indicator is to watch the shelf at the bottom. When it disappears completely, your device will lock and you'll have to type in your password to get back in. The keyboard shortcut is holding Control, Shift, and then tapping the L key, again locking down the device and using your password to get back in. You can also use keyboard shortcuts to quickly launch applications from your shelf. To do this, hold down the Alt key, and then using the numeric keys at the top, choose which app you would like to launch. So I have YouTube here, which is three applications over, so I can hold down the Alt key and tap the number three to launch YouTube. And just remember, if you move your applications around on your shelf, it changes the number you would use to launch that app. So if I were to move Gmail in front of YouTube and then press Alt 3 again, it'll launch Gmail. The Chrome web browser also has plenty of keyboard shortcuts that you can use. One that I found most useful is creating a new tab. To do this, press the Control key and then the T key. You can also close a tab quickly by pressing Ctrl W and Ctrl Shift W will close out that entire window. You can also quickly sign out of your device by holding down Ctrl and Shift and then tapping the Q key twice. When you've successfully signed out, go ahead and click shut down and close the device screen to save on battery life when you're not using it. So that's it. I hope you guys learned a little bit more about a Chromebook and hopefully now you feel a little bit more comfortable when you go to use it. If you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate. Email me at the address listed below and be sure to check back because we're going to make more videos like this in the future. Later guys.